Today we are going to build an e-learning course using Articulate Rise and the content that we are going to build is just these five slides that I have in PowerPoint. It is a very short course, just very simple and the idea is to show you the basic steps to build an e-learning course. Okay, so when you install Articulate 360 in your computer, you will have a menu like this with all the different products that are part of the package. And today we are going to be using RISE, which is the web uh, software, it's a web-based software. And you just have to click on launch and it will open on your web browser. I recommend that to use RISE you use Google Chrome because I have seen that with Internet Explorer uh, there are some issues, the program doesn't work uh, very well in, our, in Internet Explorer so it is better to use Google Chrome. Once you are in your browser in RISE you just click on new course. Okay. Let's see what we get. So here's our a blank canvas. Here we enter the course title. I always like to have my content developed in PowerPoint because I can use the notes section to add specific notes or explanations about the slide and because it is easier to have everything developed in PowerPoint or Word it could be and then just paste in the authoring tool that I'm using. So here I just paste the title. Here's my name, my author name, but I'm gonna hide it and just yeah I don't like to put my name in the modules I develop and in the course description I'm just going to add the duration of the module which this one is just like 10 minutes I think. But uh, here you can add more information such as an, an introduction to your course, a brief description or a specific information the learners need to know uh, before doing the course. I want to put duration in bold so I just highlight that word and I click on bold. So every time you want to change the format of the text, you just highlight it and you have this menu with different options, change colors or the size of the text and different options there. So we're going to add a lesson title here. In our case, it's going to be Essential Benefits of Drinking Water. I don't know if that's really long. Let me check. Uh, here then I click on enter and then I get the button add content I click on that and I have two options I can build a lesson or build a quiz in this case we are going to build a lesson so here we are inside our lesson and here you have the different types of content that you can create in your course you have text, images, videos, uh, continue button uh, you have all the different options when you click on all blocks you have all the different types of content that you can build so in this case we are going to be adding an image okay very simple we just click on image And here we get by default this image. When we click on edit, we are going to change it, edit again, replace image, and we are going to add, where is it here, benefits drinking water. Okay, so the image is uploading uh, because it's not an image I created in the caption section. I like to add the source of the image. If it's mine, I leave it blank, but because it's not mine, I like to reference the original author where this image comes from. I would like to format the title just to make it a little bit bigger. 
and I can bold this section. I don't know. This is uh, up to you. How would you want to present the title or the captions of the image? And I'm also going to include the link where this comes from. I just highlight the words, then click here, insert link, paste my URL, insert. So when people click on this link, they will see the page where this come from. Next, the next section is myth uh, versus facts. Okay. Myth versus facts. We could add a continue button that will take us to our next lesson. Enter add content lesson. So this is two text, two sections, the myth and the facts, and I would like to put that as a two column. I go on all blogs, text think is here two column perfect I'm just gonna copy this I'm gonna paste here these are one in bold and the this I want in a bullet points okay now let's paste the facts as you can see it's very easy to use and in just a very short time you can build a really nice course okay so here we are ready another continue button for the next lesson and here we have the 5s strategy okay enter add content lesson and here I can see my PowerPoint. I have this title, so we can add a text that can be just a heading. Okay, and then I have a video. It's a YouTube video. So I go in that YouTube video and in the share section. Um, I want the embedded code I'm gonna copy in my module so I go in all blogs interactive no I think it's multimedia sorry it's in multimedia there's an embed function click there by default it presents a file there but I'm gonna change it here I just paste the URL that I got from YouTube and there is I can change some a little bit the settings for example I don't like the border around the video I just click on that to remove it I'm gonna leave it small because big it's too big well, small is okay okay and what else and I think this is the whole course I know and we have a summary section that we can add in the last lesson in summary enter again lesson and here is a list right and I'm gonna copy I don't know if I can copy all of that straight away or I have to go point by point yeah I think it's point by point but we can do it this way too Instead of a number list, we can say, no, let's put a number list. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in a pretty look. Uh, it looks a little bit messy at the moment, but let me do it quickly. Number three, number four. Number five, okay, and that's it. And we can add a final button, but instead of continue, we can change change the label to say you can exit now. Okay, 
something like that. Okay, so if we, you can do a preview of this particular slide just by clicking on this button and it's gonna show you how it would look. So this is how it would look. Looks all right. If we wanna do a preview of the whole course, we have to come here and then we just click on preview. Here you can see how it looks. If you click on start our course, here you have your first lesson, continue, keeps moving, and you have also this progress bar. Everything is built by Rise. You don't need to do all this coding or animations. So it's really easy to build a really good looking course in just no time. So now, we can re click on review if we want to share this course with our customer just to get their feedback just click on publish and this is going to give you a um, link that you can share with your customers or we can click on export if we want to put our course in a learning management system you just have to click on lms here then you have to select the type of standard that your LMS can take. Uh, by default, I think the majority of LMSs can take SCORM 1.2, which is the oldest version. You track, you can track your course complex, completion if the learners uh, view the whole course, so you have to leave this in 100%. But if you have a quiz in your course, you can track completion if they pass the quiz. And here in reporting, you can click on complete incomplete. Uh, this is just rep for reporting, reporting purposes in the learning management system. And you can add an exit button. And if you want to publish for a website, you just select web. And there are no any other options. So when you click on export, this is going to create a zip file a WinZip file that is going to be here on my download option. Here it is. Um, this is the file that I will have to put in my web server. And, and if I want learners to run my course, they just need to click on this file, index.html. So somehow in my website, I will have to create a link to this file. When you put the, the module in your web server, you need to put the entire zip file and then unzip it there. And if you're gonna put it in your LMS, again, you have to do the whole zip file without changing any of the files, otherwise you're gonna have problems. Um, that's it, that's all you need to know to create your course in Articulate Rise. Of course, there are more options to explore when you create the content. By basically, this is the these are the basic steps. I hope this was uh, interesting and it will uh, make you install Articulate and start exploring with Articulate Rise because it's a really really nice tool and so easy to use. I really recommend it if you want to start creating e-learning courses. All right, this is it for now. Bye.